Okay, so this is a picture of another solar system. I know it looks like three dots on a black background, and it kind of is, but also this is a star. And these, they're both planets. It's, it's a picture. It's not like some abstract visualization using data from 12 different telescopes. It's just, it's just a photo. This picture was taken by the European Southern Observatory's Very Large Telescope. And yes, that is the official name. And the star, the star is called <clears throat> uh, TYC 8998-7601. Cause you win some, you lose some, I guess. <laughs> the planets here don't really have catchy nicknames, but we do know that they're gas giants. So kind of like much heavier versions of Jupiter. Like this inner one is about 14 times the mass of Jupiter and this outer one is about six times the mass. They're also way farther from their star than Jupiter is from our sun. Jupiter is about five astronomical units from the sun, which means it is about five times farther away from the sun than earth is. These planets, are 160 and 320 astronomical units from their star. So they are way out there. Now this discovery is, it's genuinely amazing. According to the press release, this is the first time we have taken a direct picture of more than one exoplanet around a sun-like star. So there's a lot we can learn from that. But the thing that got me marveling at this over coffee this morning was this. This star is about 300 light years away and a light year is the distance a beam of light can travel in one year. So in other words, it took 300 years for the light from this star to travel through the galaxy and reach Earth. In other words, the light that reached the very large telescope to make this picture left this star in the 1700s. So for the last 300 years, we have been walking around this planet, learning about other planets and stars, learning about each other, and the whole time, the light from this solar system has just been zooming toward Earth. Until finally, it hit the ESO's very large telescope, and we got this picture. I don't know what it is, but there is just something that's, I don't know, deeply beautiful, and also kind of like, deeply hopeful about that for me. I think it's because it makes me wonder, I mean, what kind of light from what other stars and what other solar systems, what kind of light is shooting toward Earth right now? Every day, there are just all these packets of like time traveling information hitting our planet. Some of that light is only a few minutes old, like if it came from the sun, and some of it is only about four years old, like if it came from the next star over. Some of it is about 300 years old in this case. And some of that light is just much, much older. Okay, this is one of the really cool bits, so just buckle up. For example, in 2018, the Hubble Space Telescope picked up light from a star that the team nicknamed Icarus. And once upon a time, some light from Icarus left the star and began its journey toward Earth. Except not really, because Earth wouldn't exist for another 4.5 billion years. Yeah, Icarus is some 9 billion light years away. Okay, space, space is very, very big, and it feels somehow very full of possibility. But, but, back to this solar system. There is a lot that I like about space, but one kind of small thing that I enjoy, even though I know it is completely not true, is that space sometimes feels very peaceful. Again, I know that's not true. Space is a violent, dangerous wasteland, and don't let me tell you otherwise. I am aware that it is a false sense of peace, and I'm okay with that. Because this planet, Earth, I mean, man, this planet is the most beautiful one for sure. But Earth, in all of its beauty, is also hard. Humans are hard. We're difficult. We are often cruel and unkind, and we can be terribly indifferent. And like, even when we're at our very best, we can still misunderstand each other. So while I never want to abandon this place, it's sometimes nice to look at another solar system and just, even if it's a false piece, just to go, that place is simple. Nobody is ever going to visit these planets, probably. Nobody is ever going to look at them and talk about colonizing them or extracting resources from them. They're just two planets out in the middle of nowhere space and we just get to sit here and look at them. I get to look at them, or I get to look at Jupiter, or Saturn, or a galaxy cluster, or a nebula, and I can take a deep breath, 
And then I can remember that the most important thing in the entire physical universe to me is the single planet that is under my own two feet and the people who live on there. So I can spend my time looking at space. I can spend my time just marveling at these planets and this new picture. But at the end of the day, I can take a deep breath and I can close my laptop and I can get back to the work of caring for this planet and loving the people on it. And that is the main thing I have to say about that. <sighs> Hi there. This is just something that's been on my mind this week. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you learned something. Despite my rambling, the European Southern Observatory did just release this photo, so that's kind of cool. But mostly I hope this video made you think about something. That's what I got. Thanks again for watching. Take care, and I, uh, I'll see you next time. This star number is never going to wash off my hands. TYC8998-7601 just really just rolls off the tongue. It's what I'm naming my firstborn child. Call him, uh, call him TYC for short. Tyke! Oh, there you go.